Why is Dre becoming an independent application? Microphone ready. Why is detaching from voice attack a good idea? And does Dre really do this? What's wrong with how it is now? No idea. How can becoming a standalone app improve the in-sim experience? What could possibly be so good about an app? And as an existing Dre 3 user, how does this affect me now and in the future? So I believe Dre is the best spotter for iRacing and it's packed with many features all there to let you take informed sim racing decisions. And ultimately achieve your racing goals, whether that's having fun with great immersion or going to the top of the leaderboards or crushing. Ah. So what's wrong? Dre has been on the block for more than five years now, functioning as a tool for voice attack. Over time, Dre has grown to become more than a simple voice command extension to iRacing. It now features sounds, functions, key binds, racing alerts, quality of life features, and much more. What's wrong with you? My issue is that Dre has always been limited to the core features served by Voice Attack. And Voice Attack is currently stuck with an aging speech recognizer and synthesizer. By default, you are presented with a robotic sounding text to speech voice. And that leaves a lot to be desired on the immersion side. I'm afraid I can't do that. Dave. And it's difficult to give Dre a test run. The consequences of serving Dre through voice attack are many, but for you guys, I know it's been cumbersome to get started with Dre. Currently, just to try Dre means that you, as step one, have to purchase voice attack full version. Secondly, download voice attack, install it, and set it up. And it needs dialing in for our sim racing situation. Step three is that you will need to download Dre and install it. Then finally, step four is switching to voice attack import the installed Dre profile, and finally restart voice attack. Only now you can start exploring Dre. Another annoyance is when I push any updates to Dre, you guys need to shut down voice attack, let Dre download and install the update, open voice attack again, delete the old Dre profile, import the new, possibly relink the startup profile command to get Dre fired up in voice attack. Oh. And also from time to time, you need to update voice attack as well. There are simply too many steps to get started having fun with the cool features. As the developer, I'm limited when it comes to expanding features and offering your spotter experiences. I need to maintain a separate profile, plugin files and the launcher. Every time voice attack changes, I need to adapt Dre and that's taking away time from producing nice features. So the current solution of using voice attack was simply not viable going forward if I wanted to fix these problems. I needed to detach Dre from relying fully on voice attack to set Dre free and make it stand on its own feet. But to get there, I needed to find out what the essential needs are for the various sim racer types and to figure out how to gracefully transition Dre and you guys to a new foundation whilst keeping a relationship with voice attack to not ruin the freedom of extending Dre. I needed to get this right. I wanted to succeed in making the best damn spotting platform to allow you guys to succeed with your sim racing goals. It's about getting the right racing info at the right time to allow you guys to take informed decisions. At this point, Dre was going to be either shut down or get serious and independent. So last year I quit my job as a project manager to go full time and floor the throttle on this Dre production. What's at stake here was not only making a better product for you, but securing my company, my life and my family going forward. Over the last two years and intensively in the past seven months, I've been researching, redesigning and developing a new Dre standalone app. This takes the quality of sim racing spotters to the next level. I'm proud to announce Dre 2022 put into this world to solve all our problems. Dre will become an independent app with everything you need to communicate with Dre and interact with the sim and this includes speech recognition and voice output. For most use cases there's no longer a need to use voice attack. The big immediate effect is of course a simplified setup. Download Dre, install and go. 
I've put specific attention on decreasing time from download to racing significantly. And updating Dre will also become much easier. I've got a ton of new features coming along that I will share in future videos. But let me say this right now. Immersion will become a major factor of Dre. You can look forward to radio comms, sound effects, degrading audio signals, and an overhauled voice quality all included in the app. Hello Dre. Hi racer. How are you today? You have seven cars on track. Eight. Car right. No more fiddling around with a 10 year old text to speech found on some obscure website. It's time to move to realism. To the right rear. Clear. Another pillar for Dre is to understand your intentions when you speak. No one can remember 400 plus voice commands. So let's change this to be about knowing what kinds of intents Dre can handle. Then let you say your intention however you fancy. To which Dre will match your intention to a command. And finally, another pillar of the future Dre will be adapting to your needs. Not all sim racers are in it to win it and increase their I rating. No size fits all. I want Dre to acknowledge this and let your goals drive what Dre focuses on when it triggers alerts and communicates with you. These are big projects, but things are coming along nicely and some are already in the initial package. So as an existing Dre 3 user, how does this news affect me? Okay, so you are not being forced to do anything. There are no requirements for you to shift to the new Dre if you don't want to. Any Dre 3 Pro or Deluxe licenses will continue to function, so you can keep doing what you do now. My goal is simply to convince you that you cannot live without the new Dre app and are eager to make the jump. So Dre will be long time supported for one year from now on, meaning that I will ship bucks for it for at least one year going forward, should any be necessary. After this, Dre might continue to work for a long time, but at that time I will have shifted my focus fully towards the new app. I can't say how long Dre 3 will be functioning, as it depends on external factors like changes to the Windows and iRacing platforms. Okay, but what if I like using voice attack? Now I'm fully aware of the versatility of it and that some of you have existing extensions with Dre, either by using a separate profile or extending the Dre profile with additional commands. One of the founding principles of Dre is extendability and customization. And I want to not only restore this with the new app, but actually bring this relationship even further. And this is where Dre Links enters the stage. Links is the new Dre API meant to extend the possibilities of Dre through other apps. And the first API connection is with the good old trusted voice attack. Links has a two way connection to voice attack, allowing you to retrieve information from Dre and its SIM connection, as well as triggering commands to Dre from voice attack. If you are eager to try out the new Dre app, here's how you can get involved. Go to the closed alpha sign up page found in the description below. Enter your details and why you believe you can contribute to making the best damn spot for iRacing. Sit tight and wait for the invite. We'll do communication via the Dre Discord mostly. So, there you have it. Dre 2022 is a big change for me and for you. I'm sure you'll find yourself familiar with it in no time. If you are interested in learning more about Dre and my development on it, click subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as I have news. I'm planning on releasing more videos that go in depth about my work on features and future plans. So now is a great time to get on board. I think you're also gonna love this video over here. I put a ton of work in all of them so I'm sure you're gonna like it.